Our 10 News School of the Week, powered by Duke Energy Florida, is Palm Harbor Middle School. And guys, you are so lucky because Grant is heading there later today. I'm the lucky one. Yeah. We, we talked about this yesterday, how whenever we go to these schools, it's like we're the ones that are learning so from much. these kids. Yes. You know? So um, our crew was there earlier this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though I'm heading there today to talk to some of the students, they were already asking questions. My name is Benjamin Anderson. I'm in eighth grade at Palm Harbor Middle School, and the weather question is, how much water are in clouds? Hmm, that's an interesting question, isn't it? I mean, you ever looked up a cloud and go, huh, I wonder how much water is in a cloud? Now, every cloud is different, just like a snowflake, but every cloud is different, different shapes and sizes. But if we were to take an average cloud, now all clouds have, have these tiny water droplets suspended in the air. And if we were to take, we'll say, an average cloud, that average cloud, if you were to estimate it, has roughly one million, yeah, that's, that's a lot of water, one million gallons of water suspended in the air. So what happens when that water condenses and it starts to precipitate? And we get an inch of rainfall, say, right? So coming from a cloud, you have an inch of rainfall if you were to take an inch of rainfall and spread that out over an acre of land, one or rather one square mile of land, so think about that, a square mile, that would equal to 17.4 million gallons of rainwater that has now fallen on the ground. That's why if you get an inch of rainfall over a relatively short period of time, that's why we can see that flash flooding here that typically happens in the summertime. 